What is up YouTube and welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. My name is Dallin Anderson and today we are going to be discussing how Bitcoin has broken well above the $10,000 level. We are now at 10134 I'm also going to be talking a little bit about what I expect for Bitcoin in the future. So make sure that you smash that like button for me right now as well as the subscribe button because I am dedicated to uploading five videos a week all through 2020 to keep you guys updated and posted in the markets. Make sure that you hit that little notification bell as well so that you get those updates on your feed and on your homepage. Also, feel free to comment down below where you're tuning in from in this beautiful world or even just if you have any questions or comments aside from that. Make sure that you guys check out my VIP in the description box below. Been getting a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new VIPs, a lot of new people in my free Discord and it's been really amazing to experience that and to share this knowledge with you guys. So I'm super thankful for you, um, all the people that have been joining that and make sure that you guys check out the VIP. Huge shout out to my current VIPs in the Discord. Okay, so without further ado, let's get straight into the Bitcoin analysis. So Bitcoin actually bottomed around 6,500 per coin. And since then, we are at 10,000 per coin. We've rallied quite significantly, which by the way, you guys, is a 54% increase since the fall or since the December of last year. So if you're looking at this from a perspective of a market that is profitable to invest in, goodness gracious, that is an amazing move on the upside as you can see i have the ichimoku cloud in the background this is the two hour time frame i very very rarely go down this low in time frame uh, but occasionally i will usually the lowest is like four hour two hour i really do not like to drop anything lower than that because it's just pure noise and unpredictable but this two hour time frame gives us a very nice established trend and i wanted to go over this trend with you guys so that you can maybe get a better understanding of how to understand how price has been developing and why uh, I think that Bitcoin is really just getting started here, especially in the bigger time frame. So let's check out this, this trend right here. I'm going to start by just drawing a line across the lows, just a horizontal trend line on the lows and you guys little pro tip here on trading view if you click on this whatever drawing tool you're using it'll lock you into it so that you don't have to continue to click to pick that tool because every time you use a tool it it, it calls it done um, meaning that it unhighlights it and you have to click it again okay so this right here is the lows and the peaks of the uptrend that we've been forming I'm just mapping this out for you. Oops, <laughs> there we go. And you guys can see how we've actually came back up to major resistance. So this peak right here that was shorter term resistance and really we were dipping kind of yesterday. There was a little bit of blood in the markets. We since then came and kissed the Ichimoku cloud or right next to it and bounced up and we're breaking that resistance. So in my opinion, it's actually pretty likely that this horizontal resistance right here gets broken above and we actually see continuation in this trend. Um, and it really, really wouldn't surprise me at all if it moves the same height as this leg, or at least as a good starter point. So, you know, 10,500 per Bitcoin is very possible in this leg that we're seeing right now that started from the bottom of this low right here. But what's interesting, something I wanted to point out is that we're getting very, very nice support and resistance flips. So this area used to be resistance at 7,600 and we came back down and we didn't quite touch it, but we came very close to it and that became support. And then the same thing happened right here. The resistance at 8,300 used to uh, be resistance and became support right here again very close to the exact point 
And this right here, I believe, is very close as well. And even this one up here is very close. Doesn't quite touch it, but it's close. So we're getting support and resistance flips, which is a very standard higher low, higher high uptrend pattern. Now, if we take, this is a smaller time frame, so you have to understand that this parabolic curve is actually a lot more parabolic looking in in the bigger time frames because it just goes it basically just goes straight up in one little candle but this right here is a parabolic rise in the market we keep landing onto um, a, a parabolic move upwards and so i do expect this parabolic move to continue for now i'm going to go ahead and remove this trend that we have drawn and we're going to go into the four hour time frame here and we're going to look at the cloud we're a little ways away from the cloud in the four hour so usually when things start to extend out past the cloud it gets a little crazy usually if it gets up above the cloud and starts to go parabolic but it won't stay away from the cloud forever so you know it can't get too far away from the cloud before it we'll come back and at least test it and right now although we are a little ways away from the cloud we could be quite a bit higher than the cloud and get further away from it before we actually sell off as you guys know I did make a video not that long ago doing an Elliott wave count on Bitcoin and that is that we have made a one two three four and this is actually the fifth wave in the market now this would be if the fifth wave stops like pretty soon here this would be a very standard fifth wave. Uh, it's not super hyper extended, uh, just a normal Elliott wave fifth wave. You can use our Fibonacci tool. It would be like a one to one wave, meaning that it's about the same size as the three wave. Now, what can actually happen with fifth waves, especially when there's been a lot of selling pressure for a long time and you start to recover is you can get extended fifth wave. So if this is an extended fifth wave, we could easily go hyperbolic, parabolic here for a second, get up past that cloud, kind of away from the Ichimoku. As you can see down over here, we are really close to the Ichimoku right here. We kind of got away from it in the center here, but we could do that again. We could get away from the Ichimoku cloud, and that would be an amazing time for an ABC correction to take place back onto support and then for us to see continuation after that so so that's kind of the shorter time frame Elliott wave count now I don't want to get too stuck on that I actually don't care about this shorter time price action from a perspective of am I taking buying action and am I taking selling action the reason I care is because I want to map my emotions out so that if the market does go right here all the way up to that fifth wave and I look at my portfolio and I'm like wow bitcoins at 12,000 per coin my portfolio is up like 30 percent across the map and then it goes like this and it dips again and comes back down and goes like this I want to map the Elliott waves out so that I don't panic sell the bottom it's not it's not because I am planning on taking buying or selling actions in any of this whole period of time because I'm really not. Most of my buying actions and, and my strategy was planned Well, we are clear back here in the dip when we are falling and falling from the last correction, from the last one of these, you know, our last corrective wave in the market. And so I was... Uh, you know, as far as buying and selling action goes, this is where I was mapping out buying and selling action is all this previous price action. And the reason for that is because I wanted to get in the bottom of this correction. I wanted to get the cheapest entry that I could in, in this correction. And, and so, you know, that's what I did. And now, now that we've started to see this very, very nice uh, reversal, I'm really just looking to to control and manage my emotions so I understand what's going on. I just don't want to sell in a dip getting scared. And so I'm mapping the Elliott waves out so I can understand the potentials. You know, this extended fifth wave could easily happen. We could hit 12K. It's not out of the question. 
but at some point we're gonna have an ABC before we see continuation and I don't want to get shook out in that ABC and I don't want you guys to either so that's why I map out the shorter time Elliott waves not because I'm actually taking it's not like I'm going long right here and then going long to 12k and then going short back down on the ABC I don't try to predict every little swing like that but I do want to be aware of the possibilities so that I can manage my emotions. All right, so let's go up to the one day time frame here. The one day time frame, we have a very standard Elliott count on Bitcoin here with a one, two, three, four, five. And if you're a beginner, you can either draw this as an ABC correction, ABC. Um, that's not really going to hurt at all. Uh, some people might call this a WXYXZ because you have the ABC waves all the way down. Um, ABC down, ABC up, ABC down, ABC up, ABC down. But it really, you know, it really doesn't matter. All you really have to do if you want to understand the absolute basics of Elliott wave theory is count your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up. And then you can literally just draw an arrow down if you don't want to understand all the different complicated corrections and know that this is an ABC or WXY or WXYXZ, it's going to be one of these corrective patterns, WXYXZ, WXY, ABC, ABCDE. And so after five waves, expect a correction. You know, once that five wave is in place, a correction is expected. Whatever type of correction that is, if you're a beginner, don't stress yourself out about understanding all the different complicated Elliott wave corrections. Do learn them. Take your time to study them and learn them. I have the Elliott wave power series, which is an amazing VIP course on Elliott wave and understanding complicated corrections and market cycles and all that stuff. Links are in the description for that on my website. But if you're just an absolute beginner, an absolute uh, starter with these markets, really you can just draw a one, two, three, four, five wave and understand a correction is coming. And then you can go ahead and you can use that Fibonacci retracement and you can look for where that correction is going to end. And in bull markets, that 618 and that 65 level is very powerful and usually is a great spot for us to see a flip in the market. So that is kind of what I'm watching you guys. I'm watching for Bitcoin to see continuation. I'm watching for this one wave to be made because really all that shorter term price action that we were drawing in the two hour and the four hour is just a big one in a two wave before we make another Elliott three wave. And Elliott three waves, you guys, are very impulsive. This will be the three of the three. As you can see, this is the three wave of our last move. Very impulsive, very parabolic. So this will be the three of the three wave because this is a one wave and this is a two wave. And then this is a one wave and this is a two wave. So that means this will be the three of the three because it will be the three wave correlated to this one and the two, and it will be the three wave correlated to this one and this two. So the three of the three should be pretty exciting, pretty impulsive. I'm very excited about 2020 and really looking forward to sharing all these profits with you guys on the daily candlesticks. We did get a bullish Ichimoku flip. So I do expect us to go parabolic and retest the Ichimoku at some point. You guys, just this is an amazing time to be making videos. I love all the people that have been following my content lately and commenting. Just the excitement that there is in the market right now is unprecedented. It's, I mean, you guys, I was here in 2016, 2017, a little bit in 2015, and it was exciting back then, but the awareness, there are so many less people that knew about it that now it's just, it's a whole new ball game and I really love it. It's super fun to be part of the crypto markets right now in 2020. And I just am so grateful and thankful for these markets, you know, without Bitcoin, without cryptocurrency, my life would be so much different. And I'm truly grateful for these markets. 
And I'm truly grateful for all the people that follow me and, and do this analysis with me and, and learn what I've been learning. And, you know, hopefully you guys can take away a lot from that. I know that I provide value. I get messages all the time, people letting me know how thankful they are for everything that they've been learning. So, you know, this is just a really good time to be grateful. Thinking in those terms of gratitude can change even your state of mind in a way that allows you to attract more beautiful things in your life. So really, you know, be grateful, you guys. Cryptocurrency is probably going to provide us with a once in a lifetime opportunity to change our financial status forever. And it also gives us a place where we can develop and grow our passion in a very, very amazing way. So anyways, that's kind of my analysis on Bitcoin. You guys know in the big picture, I'm expecting 30,000 plus. Even in the future, we could be worth 100, 200,000 per coin um, as we go above the previous all-time high and start to get parabolic. So this is just an exciting time to be part of those markets. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. Make sure that you hit that like button again for me right now, as well as the subscribe button because I am dedicated to uploading five videos a week all through 2020. Make sure you check out the Elliott Wave Power Series on my website in the description box below, as well as the VIP so that you guys can make sure you're learning and getting the best possible content you can. Also, feel free to email me, highaltitudeinvesting at gmail.com if you want a 20% discount on that. I will give anybody that emails me directly a 20% discount on my VIP or my Elliott Wave Power Series. I've been getting a lot of good reviews about the Elliott Wave Power Series from the people in my test group when I first released it to them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next videos. As always, stay profitable out there.